everyone. Today in class, we continued working with ratios, and specifically, we were looking at the relationships that you can find within two or more ratio tables. So, for example, if we have these top ratio tables being two separate ones, whatever they happen to compare, one way that we've learned how to compare things is by finding the value of the ratio. But we should also take a look at the data that's in the ratio tables. So whatever this first column is, I see a 30 here and I see a 30 here, which might help me compare it to the second number, whatever that happens to be. So I can see one is 30 to 70 and another is 30 to 48. So I can make comparisons based on that information, not just having to find out what the value of the ratio happens to be. Um, other ways that we could do that is to continue making equivalent ratios within our ratio table based on what we know about equivalent ratios. So here we found a commonality of 140 by if I take a look at 35 times 4 to get 140 and 12 times 4 is 48 and I also realize I can get 140 here by doing 20 times 7 is 140 and 8 times 7 is 56. So once you're able to make some sort of connection to say, okay, I can get 140 as a comparison, then you can compare those top numbers and maybe you can find out that one has more, one less, maybe they're equal, but just other ways to look at different ratios in tables to make comparisons. So let's go ahead and do a problem here together. Beekeepers sometimes supplement the diet of honeybees with sugar water to help promote colony growth in the spring and help the bees survive through fall and winter months. The tables below show the amount of water and the amount of sugar used in the spring and in the fall. So as I take a look at these completed charts, they're not the same. I'm not seeing an exact same number of sugar over here as it is over here. I can see that there's some even amounts and I might start mathematically trying to find ways that I can make that connection. Um, same with water. When I look over at the water, I'm not finding a number that matches right away. But I do see that I, if I can, I can get this four and have something to compare it to. If I can see this one with four cups of water, I know this one I might be able to make it equivalent. So I know that if I multiply it by two, I can get the four cups of water that they're talking about. So that would mean I'd have to multiply this part by two. So here I can compare it now. In the spring, they would use six cups of water or six cups of sugar per four cups of water. And in the fall, they use eight cups of sugar per four cups of water. So you can compare it that way. Once again, the other way that I could find it is I can go ahead and find the unit ratio or the value of the ratio in that chart. So I know that this entire chart here, all of these ratios are equal. What do they all have in common? The simplified or the value of this ratio is three to two. I know three times two is six, two times two is four. I can compare it to 27 because three times 9 is 27, 2 times 9 is 18. So every single number, a pair of ratios in here is equivalent to 3 to 2. The value of the ratio over here for every single one of them is for every two parts sugar, it's one part water. So I can show you that connection even from here. 2 times 15 is 30. 15 times 1 is 15. So you can see that connection there. If I want to go backwards, I could say 2, sorry, 14 divided by 7 is 2, 7 divided by 7 is 1. So as long as they have the common factor to make them connect. So I just wanted to show looking at your knowledge of ratios, whether you use the value of the ratio to be able to make comparison, or if you find other ways that you can make them equivalent based on your knowledge of equality. So those are the things that we worked on in class. I hope this example helps.